Boston is undeniably one of the most passionate sports cities in the U.S., boasting a rich history of championships and diehard fans. Recently, the city celebrated the Boston Celtics' 18th championship with a massive parade in June. Yet, despite the city's vibrant sports culture, Boston has never been home to a WNBA team. This absence raises the question, why doesn't Boston have a WNBA franchise, and will this ever change? Hashtag 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 WNBA game at TD Garden, a promising sign, for the first time in history, Boston's TD Garden hosted a WNBA game this past summer, featuring the Connecticut Sun and the Los Angeles Sparks. The game drew an electric, sold-out crowd. Sun player Dijonai Carrington expressed her hope that the event was just the beginning, saying, hopefully this isn't the last. Hopefully this is the first of many. Sports management expert Seda Munku believes that these one-off WNBA games in different locations are part of the league's strategy to gauge interest in new markets. The PAC TD Garden stands suggest that Boston could be a viable contender for a future WNBA expansion hashtag 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 a growing league the WNBA, founded in 1996, has made significant strides, especially when compared to the NBA's timeline. According to Munku, the league is ahead in terms of growth at this stage in its life cycle, with rising revenues and increasing popularity. A Celtics spokesperson added to this sentiment, highlighting the success of the Connecticut Sun season and the overall momentum of women's basketball. The Celtics, who have no direct involvement with the WNBA, expressed pride in hosting the sold out game at TD Garden, which only adds to Boston's thriving basketball culture. Hashtag, 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 could the Celtics own a WNBA team? Ownership of a WNBA team in Boston might be more complicated than it seems. While seven current WNBA teams share arenas with NBA franchises and five share ownership, the Celtics have never taken that route. NBA Commissioner David Stern once revealed that the Celtics owners in the 1990s had little interest in founding a WNBA team. Today, Celtics owner W.I.C. Grosbeck has hinted at the possibility but cited logistical issues, especially since the Celtics don't own TD Garden, the Bruins do, while a Celtics-owned WNBA team remains uncertain, experts suggest that alternative ownership models could emerge. Munku notes that private investors or groups could step in to establish a franchise in the Boston area. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag the future of women's sports in Boston. Women's sports in Boston have been gaining momentum. The city will soon welcome a national women's soccer league expansion team, Boston Unity Soccer Partners, led by an all-female ownership group. This success shows that Boston can be a fertile ground for women's sports, with new avenues of funding and support emerging. As the WNBA plans to expand to cities like San Francisco, Portland, and Toronto, the hope for a Boston team grows. Massachusetts Governor Maura Healey, herself a former basketball player, voiced her enthusiasm, saying, I know we'd have tons of fans and huge interest here. The stage is set, and Boston may one day join the WNBA family. Only time will tell.